Hi guys, my name's Gabby. Welcome to my channel. Um, this is the first full makeup look I've ever recorded. It is using the NYX Perfect Filter Palette and the Urban Decay Liquid Moon Dust. So if you guys would like to see how I achieved this look, just keep on watching and we'll get right into the video. Also, if you like what you see, click like and please subscribe. Alright, to start off, I'm going to prime my face with the NYX First Base Primer Water. I'm going to use the NYX Honey Do Me Up um, Facial Serum. And this stuff, I really, really like it because it actually has gold flakes in it to increase the radiance of your skin. Now I'm gonna let that soak in a little bit and normally what I do is I do my eyebrows while I'm waiting for that to dry. So while that is soaking in, I'm going to take my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brown in Soft Brown and just this little Makeup Forever angled brush. All right, now once you have your eyebrows filled in and that all blended out, I usually take the Gimme Brow in shade number three, and I brush up these brow hairs. So once the brows are done and the primer is all soaked in, we're going to color correct using the Heart Candy Color Correct Expert Palette. All right, I'm going to take the orange and the yellow, stripe that back and forth. Once that is done, put the palette away and we're going to be using, once again, Hard Candy Color Correct Expert Cream this time in the green because as you can see, I have rosacea on my cheeks and I actually have a couple bad breakouts right now too. So, we're going to balance all of that out. Now I'm going to get the nose. Next, we're going to take Beauty Blender, dip it in some water, and wring it out. And we're going to blend out this face. All right, let's give it the nose. And the reason why I use the um, cream rather than the palette for the green is because I use so much of it, this cream blends out a lot better than the palette. Next is time for foundation. And I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Ultra AD Li HD Liquid Foundation. I love this stuff. And then I'm also going to be mixing it with a little bit of the Tarte Amazon Clay Foundation. So I'm going to take a full pump. Yes, a full pump. i got a lot of greenness to cover up here. On each finger. Half a pump on my nose and half a pump on my chin. Of the Makeup Forever. And then with the Tarte, I usually just take a tiny bit. Now first what I do is I take a paintbrush and I spread the foundation out all over my face. Yeah. And so what I even want to do is I want to bring this down onto my neck a little bit. Once your face is covered, we're going to want to take a beauty blender. I'm going to use my Real Techniques sponge. Soak her up with some water. Lightly dab over the entire face. Okay, next we're going to go in with cream contour and highlight. And I'm going to be using the NYX Sculpt and Highlight Face Duo in Fair and Taupe. I'm going to first darken up these corners here and kind of 
add the dots around to kind of give the illusion of a um, more round forehead. And then, okay, once that's done, let me get rid of this double chin here. And next we're gonna go in with the nose. Okay, great. Now we're gonna blend this out. I'm gonna be using a Sephora sponge this time. I All right, now once your contour is all blended out, I'm going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer for my highlight. Once my highlight and contour is all blended out, I'm going to take the Tarte Smooth Operator Finishing Powder and I'm going to use that to set my face and bake. I use this little brush, um, it was a knockoff My Makeup Brushes brush set from eBay. Here we go again. Let me go with the nose. The chin. With the forehead. And then I'm going to use the excess powder and rub the rest in. Now I'm going to set my eyes using the MAC Soft Over Paint Pot and a Morphe 421 Mini Concealer Brush. Now once that is on there, I'm going to blend it out with a little Sephora sponge. Once that is all blended out, I'm going to once again take the Tarte Smooth Operator. And I actually use a um, e.l.f. concealer brush. And I set that on up. Now we can finally get into the eye look. I just got this palette yesterday and I'm so excited to try it. NYX Perfect Filter palette and it's in the shade rustic antique so the first thing i always do and i'm going to do is i'm going to take this this white shade here in the palette and i'm going to use that to set my lid just using a um, large eyeshadow brush just a little bit of this powder off you can never set your eye too much but I'm going to take a little Sephora big eyeshadow brush again and I'm going to take that lightest shade in the palette once again and I'm going to really pack this on under my eyebrow. So once we've done that we're going to start off with our transition shade and I'm going to start off with this light peachy shade right here. And I'm going to be using my Morphe B23. So dipping right in to that lighter shade. And just bringing that color back and forth in windshield wiper motions. What I normally do with the transition shade is I'll start, I'll pat where I want it to go. And I have a little bit of deep set eyes, so I'll start it up in this upper hand corner and then Blend it out from there. And we'll get a little bit more on there. I really want to work to blend that color out. Alright, now we're going to go in with the other eye. 
All right, now once your transition color is in place, I'm gonna go in with a slightly smaller blending brush. This came from a Morphe um, eye set, and it's just a little tapered blending brush. And I'm going to dip into this orange shade right here. And I'm going to focus that right into the crease. And again on the other side. And I might even darken that orange up a little bit more. Okay, once we've done that, we're going to go in with a little bit of a smaller Morphe brush. I'm using my Morphe 518. And we're going to take this nice brick red shade right next to our transition color and we're going to once again put that in the crease we're going to start a little bit of focus on the outer corner and your outer V and then we're going to bring that right in Gonna add a little bit more onto that outer corner there and then bring that in. All right, now once we've done that, I'm gonna take that blending brush that we used with the orange. I'm just gonna go over top of my brick red here to make sure there are no harsh lines. I'm also gonna go a little bit back over it with our orange. Don't wanna lose sight of the orange. Last but not least, I'm going to be using a tiny little blending brush from Morphe, a Morphe 514. I'm gonna be taking the darkest shade in the palette and I'm going to be putting that in the outer corner. And I'm going to pat that the outer V as well. And then once I have blended that into the outer corner, I'm going to drag it in. Okay, same thing on the other side. Once we've done that, And it's all nicely blended together. We are going to take our an Urban Decay Liquid Moon Dust, and this is in the shade Recharged. And we're going to use this to actually kind of cut the crease. Now I have a little bit of a hooded eye. So what I normally do is I will look at the top of my eye where the hood kind of is and I'll make a little mark so then when I shut my eye I can see where I need to draw and all I can say with this is just go very slowly okay once you kind of have it cut on one side you can move on to the other All right, now since I kind of have hooded eyes, well really I have deep set eyes, what I like to do is I, when I cut my crease, I keep my eye open and I trace on the outside where I can see. And this is going to extend, look like my lid extends up higher than it actually does. 
So I'm going to bring it all the way up and around. Since I kind of covered up a little bit of um, my crease area, I'm going to want to redefine my new crease. So I'm going to take the brick red color and the small Morphe brush. And I'm going to trace along where my new crease line is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Morphe 506 tiny blending brush. I'm going to flick that line out and I'm going to blend it. do the same thing with the other side. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the orange color with the 506 I'm going to blend right along that crease line again. All right one last thing before we do our eyeliner is we are going to clean up this outer edge. This will give us a nice line which to do our liquid eyeliner. All right, now once the eyeshadow is done, it should kind of look like this. And I'm going to go do my liquid eyeliner and eyelashes really quick and I'll be right back. All right, once we have our eyeliner and lashes on, I used the NYX Noir Collection um, Black Eyeliner to get my cat eye. And then I used the um, Coco Lashes in Stella for my lashes and then for mascara, I use the Colossal Spider Effect by Maybelline. Now we're gonna move on and finish this face up. First, I'm going to wipe off this bake using the same brush from um, the eBay brush kit. You're gonna really wanna make sure you get all of this so you don't have flashback. Take my um, Ultra HD Liquid Foundation and a tiny little makeup sponge. I blot that right back in there. Now that we have the bake all wiped off, we can go in. I usually like to kind of reset with powder foundation and I'm using the Super CC um, Color Correction Care CC Powder <laughs> and it's in light medium. I'm going to take my big um, Sephora 50 powder brush and also to make sure I really get it under my eyes I'm going to take another little brush all right next we are going to do our powder contour and for this I'm going to be using the Too Faced Cocoa contour kit first I'm going to dip into medium cocoa pat that excess off I'm going to go in and contour these cheeks. With the large powder brush, of course. Once again with the medium. One more time. Okay, now I'm going to switch brushes and this is the must-have large powder brush by Sephora. I'm going to take a little bit. I'm going to get my forehead here. All right. Now, the same large powder brush. I'm going to hit jaw. All right. Contour my nose. Once the nose is done, we're going to go in with a little bit of bronzer to warm the face up. Recently, the one I've been using, but Buxom Hot Escapes Bronzer in Tahiti. Then I'm going to basically just take the bronzer in the same places that I took the bake or the um, contour kit. Now okay, once we are all bronzed up, going with the final step of the contour, I take this dark cocoa, which is the darkest shade in the palette, suck my cheeks in. 
and draw just like I did with the cream contour just a line. And then I flick it off. Take this slanted brush, dip it in your light cocoa. Right. Gonna do it everywhere we did our concealers. Under our eyes. And I really loaded this on to bring my eyes up. All right, now I take it up the side of my nose to slenderize a little bit. Pat it on the chin. Pat it on the forehead. And now finally we're gonna cut those cheekbones. And kind of blend it a little bit so you don't look too ridiculous. <laughs> All right, contouring is done. We're going to finish up our under eyes here. We're going to be pulling back out our NYX Perfect Filter Palette. I always go in first with a fluffy brush and the lightest shade that I used. So that's going to be this light pink shade here. my little Morphe bonding brush, the 514. I'm gonna take the orange shade here. I'm gonna brush that right on under a little bit more. All right, once we got our orange on there, we're gonna use that same brush I used to contour the nose, the little like pencil smudger brush. I'm not sure which one to call it. I'm going to dip that in the brick shade that we used, and I'm just going to focus this more on the out, outer corner. All right, and then to blend that red out, I'm going to use my Morphe 506. I'm going to actually dip it a little bit more in the red. We should probably put mascara on our bottom lids. I'm gonna use a spider effect mascara again. All right, mascara is done. On the blush, I'm gonna use this Physician's Formula Happy Booster Mood Bo Glow and Mood Boosting Blush in Natural. It's kind of like a reddish shade, so any red brush you have will do. And then I'm going to use my Sephora Pro Airbrush, number 55. Okay, once the blush is on, we are going to finish up with our highlight. And I'm going to be using the Tarte Pro Glow to Go. I'm going to use the golden color Burst, and I'm going to brush my highlight on with my Morphe E61. It's a tiny little highlight brush. I love this thing. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Yeah, once again, I'm going to use it in the same places where I used my um, matte highlight. And then I'm going to get the inner corners of the eyes and hit under the eyebrows. All right, guys, I set all this for our all nighter spray by Urban Decay. And last but not least, we're gonna throw some lipstick on. I just got this um, Anastasia Beverly Hills in Pure Hollywood last night, so I'm gonna use that. Line the lips. I always slightly overline mine to make it look bigger.
All right, guys. Once you've completed the lipstick, this is the final look. And if you guys like what you saw here, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. Thanks.